everybody, I have a really wonderful recipe for you. Actually, it's very special to me because I was going through my grandmother's old things. She passed away a while back and found this recipe handwritten by her, and I thought, I have got to make it. It's called Just Leave It Alone Beef and Wine. So you can throw it together and then go do your thing, your laundry, errands, whatever. Come back, and that beef is tender and wonderful. Okay, so let's start out. We actually have three different types of soup. We have one can of cream of mushroom soup. one can of cream of celery soup and one can of cream of chicken soup. So one of each, cream of mushroom, cream of celery, and cream of chicken. So I'm just going to get this in a nice big bowl. Now this is one of those things that you bake in the oven for three to four hours. You can also do it in your slow cooker. Either way it's going to work out just fine. It's a real old recipe so I'm not sure if slow cookers were around way back when or at least my grandmother might not have had one, so she did it in the oven. But either way, it's going to work out just great. So get those containers of soup into a big, big bowl. Okay. Now we've got one envelope of dried onion soup mix, and that's going to give this lots of flavor. The recipe calls for three to four pounds of either um, two inch chunks of spoon roast, beef roast, chuck roast, something like that that's going to, you know, really work well when you cook it low and slow. All right, now we've got one cup of burgundy wine. This is just a dry red wine. Any kind of dry red wine will do. And then a few dashes of Worcestershire sauce. And this is the liquid that this beef is going to braise in and just become yummy. So you whisk that together. And here's my beef. Trim the fat if you can. Or have the folks from festival do that for you and just cut it up into cubes. Again, this is three to four pounds of stew meat. Spoon roast works really well or chuck roast. All right, just coat the beef really well. And at this point, it goes into your slow cooker or into a nice big casserole dish like this. This is how my grandmother Mimi did it. Cover it with foil, and she baked it in the oven, 325, for about four hours until that beef just is nice and tender. Or you can do it in the slow cooker on low for eight to ten hours or on high for about six hours. So let me show you what it looks like, and it smells amazing. I wish you could smell it here. They said it makes a nice big batch. So this is great for when company's coming and, you know, you want to be hanging out with them instead of in the kitchen the whole time. Look at that. Yum, yum. I like to serve it. My grandmother always served it over noodles or mashed potatoes. Just serve it right up. Get a big spoon or a ladle. See how that wonderful juicy, that beef just falls apart. Basically, it's like beef tips with wine and that wonderful gravy. How good does that look? It's my just, just leave it alone, or I should say my grandmother's just leave it alone beef and wine. Recipes on our website. You can also pick it up at any festival foods. It's delish.